Hello everybody, I'm Saad Mahmood. I happen to be technology solution professional at Microsoft and uh, this video, in this video we're going to discuss about chatbot. So it's quite a hot topic nowadays and uh, like uh, everybody needs to have a kind of uh, boat out there on their website or maybe an operator if they're having in a legacy model they wanted to answer most of uh, the questions that uh, someone might be asking and uh, for example one of the basic scenario would be like uh, frequently asked questions so how do you develop a very simple boat without having any prior programming experience and uh, any of uh, like uh, technical knowledge and uh, with that you would also like to train the belt and uh, you would like to put that on your website as well. So in this video and the series of video we would be developing a chat boat using uh, Microsoft technologies so that you can uh, use that boat on your web application or maybe on your Skype channel and uh, any of uh, like other services if you like or the other channels and uh, get used to of uh, the most amazing technology nowadays and uh, that can answer and engage your customers as per your requirement. So the easy thing for that would be like uh, I'll simply navigate to one of the website. We call that uh, Q&A maker.ai. So what it is, is like, uh, for example, each and every website nowadays has some uh, frequently asked questions and uh, uh, not many of the people go out there and uh, they ask those questions and they see those questions and uh, respective answers. They might be helpful, they might not be helpful and uh, because that's not that very much interactive and they're not available outside your web application. So it becomes quite a tricky task for the user to get engaged with that simple page of frequently asked questions. So a better idea would be like having a chatbot which is answering your most of the questions and uh, that would be a super super cool idea. So how we get started, simply like uh, if you're not logged in you would see a small uh, text here to log in. Once you do that, you just go out there and uh, click on create a new service. So what is this service about is, as I told you, that it converts uh, the Q&A, that is basically frequently asked questions because it, it, because it has the questions as well as answers. So it converts that uh, question and answer into a kind of chatbot mechanism with the intelligence, uh, not very much intelligent it is, but major intelligence like for example if uh, you say uh, where are you located so it gives you the locations and if you say uh, how can I locate you so it understands the context but not that much of intelligence that if you ask that what kind of product you sell and uh, there are some listed and uh, there is kind of product the user asked about so it gives the answer so for that kind of purpose, you need to train the boat accordingly. And for the training, we'll see how we can do that. So first of all, like uh, I need to give the name of the service. So the name of the service might be any of the thing. So let's say test chat boat. And uh, to make it like unique, so let me add button. And with that, like. Uh, the cool thing here is like if you're having a web application or uh, any of the page where you're having the frequently asked questions so you can simply uh, give the link to that page for example this is one of the sample uh, frequently asked question uh, page which is uh, around uh, bitlocker recovery keys frequently asked questions and you can use that. So for now we are not going to use this one. We are going to use nothing here. Uh, what we can do is like we will create the questions and their answers as well inside the, the, this service. So uh, you can do this as well as well as you can add uh, like uh, your uh, knowledge base in terms of file if you're having if you don't have a web application and you want to put um, a kind of uh, like frequently asked question documents so you can do that as well. 
So you can select the file here. And uh, once you select the file, so that would be uploaded, that can be in the tab, uh, separated values, that might be in the PDF, that might be in document file, that might be in docx, that's specific to uh, Microsoft Office and the XLSX, which means that can be an XLS file. So for the sample, you can simply click here and to download a document that will be in the TSV, probably. And uh, you can like, uh, select the file which you're having and uh, for example you want to start from scratch which, which we are doing so what you can do is like uh, simply uh, start inside the service so I'll simply click on create so take uh, a minute and uh, boom there you go so once I'm in the workspace you will be able to see that there are three major options number one is knowledge base number two is test and number three is the settings so right now, if I see the Q&A peers, so there is one Q&A peer available, which says hi and replies hello. Uh, so what I'm going to do is like, uh, we would be developing uh, some knowledge base here. Then we'll be like uh, testing that and then we'll move and see how we can like publish this. And once we do and get familiar with this service of Q&A Maker, you will move to at your portal where you would see that how we host the boat using this service and attach that to different channels like Skype for Business, Skype, or web, web chat, or maybe uh, Messenger or Twilio or the major channels which are already available out of the box, out of the box inside the, the boat service of Azure. So uh, for now, I believe uh, this video, go out there, sign up, or maybe just go out there, accept the terms for this uh, respective Q&A Maker web application, sign in out there, create a new service, and land it to this page. And we'll see the next step in the next video.